This is a demonstration of the T script rules and the T script rules load components for Talent Open Studio. Both of these components are available on the Talent Exchange. T script rules works like a T filter row or a T map to filter input. An input that passes the rule conditions is going to go to a filter connection. Input that doesn't pass will go to a reject connection. Both these connections are optional, so if you don't care about rejects, for example, you can leave off the reject connection. I have a canvas here with six uh, components. T script rules load is found in the MISC menu, and T script rules is found in the processing menu. So all of these have been dragged on to the canvas. Now, T script rules, unlike T filter row or T map, can work with a component to define its rules in an external source. You can use T script rules by itself, in which case you would be embedding rules into the component. But T script rules load was added so that those rules could be transferred out of the job and out of the component. And that means that the rules can be applied in other components and can be applied in other jobs. They can, they're also stored external to talent. So, for example, this is simulating a text file that might be stored in a configuration control system. Alternatively, this could be a database input using a database that's maintained by a website. So to get the T file input delimited working, I've defined a common separated file called customer rules, and I haven't created a schema yet for it. But looking at the file, what we see is a three field file. The first field is an expression. It's a JavaScript like expression and there's information about the syntax on the Bequam website. There is a reason code, which is a short code that's describing the rule that was, was um, failed. And then there is an error description. That's some additional feedback for the user. And to hook this up to the T script rules load, I'm going to take the main connection, bring it over there. And then in order to get the fields from the script rules load over to the file input delimited, I bring up the schema for the T script rules load. This is after a main connection was established, and then I use the copy button to bring the fields over. Now, if you have an input source that is different than what's expected from T script rules load, meaning that the order of the columns or something is different, you can insert a T map here in, in between the two components to address any incompatibilities or a filter columns or something else. So say you had a filter, um, uh, an input of, of filtering rules that led off with some column that wasn't going to be considered. You could use these other components to remove that. In the next stage of processing, I've got a file input delimited. And this is going to be the data that I'm loading. And it's a spreadsheet containing some business information. Now, four of the records have a field called business website set, but one does not. They all have first name, last name, and, and email, and title set. So what this job is going to do, it's going to end up filtering out one of the, one of the records. Uh, it's, it's a quality check, looking f to make sure that processing will continue uh, with all these fields set. So four of the records have all these fields set, and one does not. I hook up the file input Excel component, hook up the main to T script rules. And then rather than building up a set of expressions within the component view, I'm going to use the existing rule list. And I can pick from any T script rules load here. And then I'm going to go and trigger it with an on sub job OK. And then all that's left for me to do is I hook up the filter connection and I hook up the reject connection. And these may be more or less complicated. Uh, the reject connection is optional. Even the filter connection is, is optional. Uh, in this case, I'm going to push the schemas forward. If there's any incompatibilities in the schemas, um, say, for example, you did not care about the error messages that were, gonna, that were tacked on here, reason code and reason message, uh, you could put a filter columns or you could put a T map in here to sort of step down the set of fields that are coming into, into here. Um, running the job, I've got four records coming over to the T log row and one coming into the T log row two. And you can see on this last one here, 
uh, most of the records have come into the T log row 1. But in the case of the T log row 2, I not only have the data coming in, but I've also got some information about the uh, business website. So that's a that's a pretty simple case. Um, the real power for T script rules is going to be when you have lots and lots of rules and they become difficult to manage in one single job. And there are two modes of operation for this here. The T script rules will also support a run all mode and run all rules. And run all rules just by simply checking it is going to allow you to um, it's going to allow it's going to produce multiple failures for the for the record uh, so just as a case in point let me mark my input up a little bit I'm going to strip out a first name and this is going to cause that last record to fail on two rules and so what I do is I check run all rules now when I run it we actually get six records coming out of there and that's because when I run all the rules I'm getting two failures for the for the one rejected record. Uh, T script rules low that has an extra mode too it's called lenient and let's say I mess up a uh, syntax of a rule that I'm not uh, caring about in this case I've left off a parenthesis and so when I run it it just ignores the the rule here I'm back down to one failure that last rule was simply ignored now if I don't use that lenient mode and I have a syntax error, I get an upfront check that this is a problem. So a pretty flexible way to work with your rules here. Uh, something that really lends itself to good source code control because you can diff two sets of the uh, text files a lot easier than you can inspect the T filter row or other uh, replacement that you might be used to.